and welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous videos, we have discussed about earthquake, uh, sorry, wind load analysis about BNBC 2017 code and uh, also for ASCE 705 and also for AS, ASCE 710 code. So, uh, in our previous video, we have found our required value for ETAPS and uh, in this video, I'll show you how will analysis for that uh, model. So, if you're new here, you can watch the previous video to know about that. So, let's start. Here is our data in our previous video we have calculated that data and that is our data so we will use that six data for analysis wind load for any kinds of building structure and again I am telling that the person who use ASCE 70 code or ASC 17 code is able to use that just he have to change the wind load value from here just wind load value from here so after that I will open our ETAPS model that is our model that I have used for earthquake analysis so also I will use that model for that first of all I will go here define load pattern after that we will use wind load ASCE 705 and here is the wind load and our code is ASCE 705 click here add here wind load ASC 705 sorry for x direction because uh, we can use x and y direction in same same term when our s square is uh, our building is a square shape but here our building is not in a square shape that's why click on modify so it's in wl will load asc705 in x direction will load asc705 after that go here modify lateral load and uh, from here you have to click the first option expose, exposure from extended extent of dia dia diaphragm because uh, will ascend diaphragm for a building after that click here wind spread we have to put our value in wind speed in mile per hour but here our value is in meter per second so we have to convert that so I will change the unit here because uh, we know that 1 meter per second equal to 2.23694 mile per hour so here I will change that mile per hour as uh, I'm going to change that because it is required and from here I'll multiply that equation with 2.23694 okay done so here is our value for basic wind speed so 166.6520 here we will input that 166.23 sorry 6520 6520 then we have to select exposure type so I have told you that from here 
here our exposure type are A. So I have told you that that, that data are for B and B C, but for A C it's B for A, C for B and D for C. So here we will select B because here we have A. Then important factor from here this is the importance factor I 1.15 1.15 after that topographical factor 1 ghost factor 0 0.8 from here we have to find out the value ghost factor 0 0.8495 it's almost 0 0.85 so we lose 8495 9 5 after that directionality factor carry it's also 0 0.85 okay 0 0.85 okay and uh, here this is the eccentricity value 15 percent 0 0.15 and uh, we we'll leave it program deter determined so will not provide her user specific we'll use it program determined it after that we all know that the exposure height I mean wind will effect from first floor to top floor our base floor indicate that is it is the uh, portion under soil so it's to do one two nine and uh, if we have parapet we can consider we have one meter parapet we can consider so one meter parapet and uh, here all data are okay now we have to go here we have to go here as we are doing that for x direction so it's zero so here wind uh, direction perpendicular to sorry sorry maybe we have done a mistake perpendicular to y here our ghost factor have been changed we have to change that or uh, as we are considering for x direction so it will be 0 degree and 8415 here click here guest factor 8415 and from here 0 degree and uh, after that we have to define our diaphragm so cancel that ok and also click here ok so after that go assign first of all go ahead define diaphragm d1 select modify and for rigid as we are doing for rigid so rigid d1 ok then ok now we will go assign shell and diaphragm so it is an important thing for that we have to go here story one okay and uh, we have to follow a procedure if you select total story it will also select if you go in 3d mode if you select all total story then you can see that it will also select its beam beam also so it's uh, sometimes it will make difficult when we will use a stair then it will also select that and it will show us error that's why we'll clear and we'll again go history one apply okay and we'll just select the reference I mean that y x reference line 
for that go select select here select coordinate and click joint in xy plan xy plan will select the joint according to xy plan so click here and uh, click any one any of that point where you are showing the red cursor so click here it's up selected after that apply okay again go click at top sorry in our previous video I have defined that I mean I have assigned diaphragm that's why it's showing so at that same way you will be able to do that so for that point again you have to go the top point again you have to go here select and select coordinate click here and click any of any of of them it will be selected and you have to press apply like that you can define your diaphragm so you are seeing that the everywhere diaphragm are same because it's a symmetric building so okay and after that here we are seeing that here Here we are seeing that diaphragm only considering for its uh, xy plane not considering for that column so now we'll go for analysis so we'll go for analysis before that analysis check model click wall okay So no error model. I can go analysis set load. Well now, a stop wall value of wheel load for wheel load. We'll stop that, and we'll use linear statistic. I mean, we'll run only for our wheel load. So okay and. We'll go here run and uh, again I'm telling that uh, almost uh, there have huge amount of ETAPS video in this channel I mean from basic to advanced level I'm trying to cover everything you can watch that if you think that that is required for you I think uh, it will be helpful for you and you will be good at it apps and also if you have any problem you can contact to me here Here's showing our earthquake load from different criteria because we have used eccentricity yeah, sorry for wheel load here it's showing us for different criteria and uh, I'll go for check on thing monsters okay define load case okay, SC. okay so it's done after that I'll, yeah, I'll go here file from here create report and show project report Just wait for time as I am uh, also screening I mean recording that screen that's why it's taking huge time here so I'll zoom that for 100 we'll go down 
for our oil load. here for ASC705 for ASC705 here is our input data here are all input data and if we go down here is our value here is our value for S3 different types of S3 lateral load to S3s at 0 degree this for 0 degree and that is for 90 degree here all data are available for 0 degree and 0 degree interaction and interaction here is our all data. So it's okay, we'll close that and after that in our next video I'll show you that how we'll analyze that data for ASCE 710. So thank you, thank you very much. And still stay connected till next video.